Hi, and welcome to my really sh shabby uh, setup for showing off my book, but I had no way of setting up the camera, so it had better visibility and without a horrible background, so. And this is the best light I can find. So maybe in the future, I'll be able to find a better way of doing this. Um, I am not sure who did the front, uh, board for this book um it came in a package saying want to scrap and it was a birthday present for my mother so she knows how much i love steampunk and that i belong to a steampunk society and stuff like that and she's also got me for my last birthday got me a really awesome steampunk paper set from graphic 45 um which I have to find that book because it's packed right now and I'll, I'll show that off too. But this was actually done with with some Tim Holtz inks and it has various glitters on it. The glitters are actually kind of pretty awesome. They came actually from Sparkle and Sprinkle I don't know if you can see it right there, but they came in different tones and everything. Um, some of the things were, were actually kind of just an oddball, like I took a silver pen to one of them and decorated it from there. So this book is actually a whole set of concerts I've been to and taken pictures of. So front page this is nothing right now except for a little pocket for me to put extra stubs of concert I haven't taken pictures at uh, pretty much every photo in this album except for like I think four maybe were taken by me so and I have a few blank pages that I haven't decided what to do yet or I haven't come up with so this one I didn't know if I wanted to write something about what I've seen and everything but I'll leave it for future growth the first page is actually the birthday massacre I've seen these guys several times um, this is just an edging punch that's done on the top of this a lot of these are just handwritten in there just because I just wanted a home feeling of this. This is just a tracing of, um, of just some, uh, I forgot what it's called. But a lot of my, like, including the front background paper, a lot of Bow Bunny, I, I put Bow Bunny in a lot. And a lot of these papers are just stuff I've had it laying around laying in my scrap so and I don't like to be too matchy matchy with my pages so so this one just holds a bunch of tags and a big part of my book is I just wanted it to be very interactive um, this is more stuff from the birthday massacre more photos and I was just going through my junk and found this little sample of when I was learning to do um, some of the Tim Holtz inks distress inks and stuff so and I know these are stamps from my mom's collection so and I don't remember what what they're from so and the most awful picture ever of me, but it's the only one that both me and Chibi were looking up. So, and little handwritten notes. So, and I also took that stencil I made of the the birthday massacre rabbit and added it into there.
more of the birthday masker. I have no idea where these papers came from, but I love them. And I've added stars throughout this whole entire book. And there's that uh, birthday massacre uh, stencil I made. Really loving that. Really wish they would come back into town because I loved the t two times I got to see them. I got to see them once with uh, MSI and Combi Christ, and that was really awesome to see them in a big concert type of deal. But the other time I got to see them in a very local small theater at Jack, called Jack Rabbits that I love. And this is filler. They're from Southern Florida. Just kind of, I don't like things to be too matchy matchy, but sometimes I like to pull papers from the other side. Of course, nothing there. I might actually have something. Um, these stickers I have throughout the whole book, something that was like a clearance from Halloween. So. And I really wish I remember who did that paper because it's one of my new favorites. And this is Phoenix Nebulon. They're also from Southern Florida. Of course, the guy I used to go to concerts with took really horrible pictures of me. So, the best I could do. But, love Phoenix because she always, always remembers who I am and is always very funny. And these, this is an, another one of my fave papers that I bought and I wish I bought more of because I would love to use it more. And this is really old photography of mine. This is like from 2006. So I was doing a, using a bad camera back then, then that didn't do well at night. So I did a lot of stuff through Photoshop. So, and Phoenix Nebulon has actually just got a new CD out this past month so also a little note saying they always remember us so and the one time we went all the way to Gainesville to see him with, with my good friend Jenna so these two pages don't like me so much they don't like to stay in but yeah, there's more Phoenix Nibblon. So that has a blank back, so I could write more things on it if I if I felt like it. And this paper I'm in love with. It's from Haunted, and it's actually just a plain brown paper. Though I have a tendency of not using it as that color, I've bought this paper several times and I keep going back and buying more. So, but I, it takes really well with ink and still the white lines come up through the inks. So, made just little card folders. And this is actually from... A tape, I'm really forgetting the name of the um, company, Smashbooks. So I was in Target one day and found, just found the tape and I'm like, oh, I want to use it for my butterfly book. Well, I have yet to make the butterfly book yet because I was on this project, but I keep using it on everything else. So maybe I'll have some left by the time I get to, down to the butterfly book. So this is an empty page with pockets and some of those wonderful star sequins that I keep using and just to bring the page back and forth with having not too much 
use more of that smash tape. And this is being kind of obsolete. Found them on found the, found this band on MySpace and started listening to them and then voila they were at the pit one time, so went off to see them at the pit. Only sad thing is they were supposed to be here a second time. Went to the pit to go see them and they left it they had a note saying it was cancelled, so boohoo. Haven't seen them yet again. A favorite of mine, Voltaire. Um Got a little ribbon here as attachment. A little stopper at the bottom here. See the little haunted paper, but I used a glaze on it. And this was just a little circle punch. And I love these type of papers, so. And a spider stamp that you can kind of see. And this was with a, not a great camera at the time, so love to shadow on the wall and stuff like that. So it just slides right in there. Another exciting concert of mine. I was supposed to write a note to go in this one because this was actually my friend won the tickets to go see Rasputina and I was so sad, but I couldn't afford to go see him, and she couldn't, so she gave him to me. Yay, Sybil! Love you! So, Rasputina. I have the ticket somewhere, so I left a sheet for me to sit there and put the ticket to when I find, find it. But, you know, in the process of moving, I lost some of my stuff in the boxes and waiting for me to refind them again sometime. But that's a little handwritten there. So didn't want everything to look so perfect. And this is a band I've seen a million times. Uh, it's not written on the pages anywhere because it's logoed onto the picture so much that I figured you didn't need to an explanation of who this was. Uh, this is Combi Christ. So there's Joe Letts in, on the drums and Andy singing. And I like to use the stars on this one because he has some star tattoos that you can see on his arms. So actually this one shows it to, to you. So you kind of took his tattoos and did it. And I never take my good camera to see Combi Christ because I'm out there having a blast and I don't want to worry about it. So this is actually taken with a really bad camera. So therefore it's heavily edited and everything. I used this sheet of paper twice in this book and used the, the circles a lot. And yes, me about seeing them and grabbing Andy's butt. I'm getting smacked with a water bottle in the process. So, but not complaining about the water bottle. I did get to touch him. Not the first time. Usually he was leaning, he ended up leaning against me because I've been on the front, at the front of the stage several times and he's been known to jump off the stage and stuff, so. But I need to sit there and write actually more memories for this for this band because I've seen some amazing things with them multiple the multiple times I've seen them. This for being a kind of not a cutesy band, I can't kind of gave them a cutesy page on the bot on the back, so This, uh, the stars are actually, I used as a template was my paper that I was, I had uh, these sticky note stars and just took them and traced them because as I was making the book, I just put it notes on what was going on what page. So I 
and that star, star theme just follows through the books. So, and I love this fuzzy. I have no idea who made it. I wish I had more of it because I bought it years and years and years and years ago. This actually should put a little place to put in some notes because love X Sister Z. Uh, actually friends with the singer on this band. This is my friend Sin V. She's also known to do voices on cartoons like um, Fairly Odd Parents. Amazing person, very talented. She's just amazing. I used to go see her and loved her band and eventually met her off the internet. I I used to go to tacos with a group of group of people I met off the internet and it just was different people from a website and talking to her and she became friends with me online and I ended up dating this one guy and he was like, I know you. And he mentioned it and I'm like, wait a minute, you're, you're ex sister Z. And she's like, yes. And I'm like, wow, gone to your shows for a long time. We actually became uh, friends, adore her got to use this shiny paper that I've always wanted to use just could not figure out how to use it and I used it somewhere else in this book and this is the embraced I kind of gave them kind of like a girly edge to it um, this tape was actually a saving grace because I accidentally punched it a little too close to the edge and it was breaking apart so there's Kevin Chris Jason and oh my god I can't believe it I forgot the name of him <laughs> bad bad friend and a paper I can't remember and talking about how I met them and stuff and this is a ticket stub and when I put the glue on test your ticket stubs all the time before you glue them down because the glue I did ate through it and we actually one of the shows I used to work as a for for them for free of course but used to burn CDs for them, um, work on stuff, take pictures. This, these were all from, the black and whites were all from a show with, from 30 Seconds to Mars that they opened for. And these guys are great. They're funny, hysterical to hang out with. This is the one picture that I did not take. This is actually one of the promos, but I like him the Last Supper type feel, so I wanted to add it along. One of the many shows I took pictures for. And I forgot the name of this the company that did this, but this is from the pad All About Girls, and sadly, haven't used it for a really girly thing yet. My All About Girls girl stuff has been all about bands and music and stuff and just established with one of their stickers that I had since I have collections of, of stuff from them and pins and stuff like that so I still have to add to this book as I find stuff another one of their stickers this is really a mismatched page but it amused me And that's with Phoenix, a belly dancer that did a show with them. Kind of matched the paper to the to the photos instead of the actual background. So, but the purple and reds go together. A blank page because I have no idea what's going to go in there. So I kind of added to it and excellent glued my pages together. Lovely. MSI. Steve Rye, which I took one, his tie off his neck and kept it, and I have a guitar pick from him. 
not the only stage memorable. I I have like numerous drumsticks from uh, Jolette's from Combi Christ. So, but I like to take stuff and frame it and stuff like that. So, and I love that he had writing all over him, which is the stuff he talked about during the show. Like it was George Clooney's birthday and stuff like that. So, and these are another one of the tags that I used with, um, that I, I stole from my mom and I was practicing with the Tim Holtz inks and stuff like that. So, and the distress embossing powder. So when I was practicing with it, I threw it aside and I just found it in my junk drawer of scraps and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, this looks great. And this is porcelain black. Really screwed up there, but I didn't care. Just one of the guys that were local that tend to see him often opening for different acts and stuff like that. So just kind of added them in there. This is like one of my faves. I used to do a lot of stuff for him. More of those little round stickers kind of added in. And this is my own sin, which is from Jacksonville, Florida though they broke up a short time ago and this is the haunted paper that I love and I used it with a red ink so and this is from another paper that I, I went through and just did stuff to and threw it in the box and said oh I'll use it for some time so Danny, this is the girl with the greatest girl. So, and that's from a rock pad paper. So, and I don't like to match, match, match with my, my books. So I just throw in papers that I'm like, oh, this goes along with this page and in an odd sort of way. So let's just do that. <laughs> they both have stripes. They both have stars. They both have swirls. I just make it work. This one I just threw in so I can make a tag with it later so it goes along with the other page and had the stars along with it. So, and some random cogs up in the corner for the fun of it. And this is my uh, Night of Joy. I did it with my mom. I had like Disney tickets. Just a round circle punch that I sat there and folded over and added stars. So it was really nice. All mocking from the, the star that was in the hotel above our beds. Some wrist bracelets. Bands that was there that I went with my mom and stuff like that. So, but I love this paper, this orange paper, and it sat in my box for many, many years and never knew what to do with it. So, lately I've just been like, oh, I open a project, I buy some, buy some papers, go through my stuff and see what I can add to it. Some glimmer mist some punches, some stickers, that's the newsboys playing. And I went to go look for a ticket stub and I found a whole bunch of stuff of memorabilia and pamphlets and stuff like that that I didn't even know I had. So I was really excited and added it to the book. So I'd like to say these two pictures are not mine. This, actually, th all three of them, I, this was actually an opening act for Combi Christ, and I never take my camera to Combi Christ, as I said earlier. So, this is actually by John Shippey. Awesome guy. Great photographer. I would love to have some of his, uh, his equipment and some of his math skills. So, so, I'll link him up into my 
into this so you can see some more of his photography use the reverse of the paper some stamps some ribbon a little card so I don't know I was trying to trying to make it interactive and different as much as possible through the pages this has nothing to it yet I haven't figured out what to do but it has a flip to it and this border is actually a graphic 45 one of my holy grails of papers because I love the steampunk collection a bow bunny and this is whole wheat bread they're local to Jacksonville very awesome and like to take their their shirts off on stage so never a bad thing so <laughs> And I've been playing with alcohol inks and trying on different type of slick papers and stuff like that. So the only one that really has worked really well that I loved has been this slick glitter paper that I have. And oh, lo and behold, here it is right there. This is MC Chris and I just noticed I never wrote MC Chris on here. So there's me with MC Chris. I made him, I made me th this Boba Fett. I was supposed to make him a pillow so he can sit there and auction off for, for, uh, six dick fibrosis, but really awesome nerd rapper, really great guy. Really loves his fans. and me geeking out because I've tried to see him so many times and always there was something in the way of me going and stuff like that so was really excited when I finally got to go so and this really didn't fit on any pages so I just punched it and added it as a flip um some guy took me on a date to see skinny puppy and I thought it was really awesome. Um, so I didn't really have anything else from it, but I did still have this flyer. And this show was in like 2004. I keep on to everything for some odd reason. And a random tag that I made when I was trying out Tim Holtz for the, for the first time and really loved it. So I kind of found it and added it here. And I found this paper and was like, okay, this is perfect to go with this book to kind of be the end of from the other side. Add a little uh, in there for me and a little bat where he's hard to see from there. So there you have it. My book that doesn't stay closed, but that's okay. It's full of fond memories and I'm in love with it so here you go and hopefully sometime soon I'll be adding more projects for you to see thank you